Hey, this is Bowen, and we're here to play Stern's Avatar. It's their newest pinball machine, released the tail end of 2010. And uh, we're at the Papa facility just outside Pittsburgh. We're 400 pinball machines wait for you uh, at our tournaments, the Papa tournament and the, Pits and the Pinburg tournament. We hope you can come out for one of those. In the meantime, enjoy this game of Avatar. I'll teach you a little bit about how to play the game as we go. There's two major features in this game, the amp suit and the link shot. The amp suit is in the upper right hand corner, you really can't miss it, it's this giant thing that you can beat on and shoot it into the amp suit and it'll return the ball at you and fire a magnet as it goes on. If you shoot it enough times, a multi-ball is ready and that multi-ball can be stacked with the link multi-ball. The link shot is a little bit to the left here, you see I shot it in there, holds the ball, it'll kick out another ball and it's just going to keep that ball until I can hit it with the new ball and it'll release. Nice little mechanical action to that. Um, one of the things I'm trying to do right now is to play both of those multi-balls at the same time. An additional feature in this game is the Navi scoring which can be earned by shooting these blue targets on the left side. So by shooting the blue targets enough times I will earn the Navi round and I can use the Navi round during the multi-balls to really bank in big points. So the Navi, the Navi round has begun, and now my goal is to start one of the two multi-balls. Let's aim for the amp suit. And, ah, whichever one I can get will work out pretty well, but I definitely want to get one of these before the time runs out. And so unfortunately, if the shooting is off, this is a case where you're in a hurry up situation. The goal is to get something going as quick as you can until the time runs out. And if the time runs out on you, too bad. But I can still play both multi balls together. So there's the amp suit shot that I should have made about 20 seconds ago. It's going to release three balls into play. And you can see six shots are lit for jackpot. Each shot scores a jackpot, a little bit of animation, a little bit of noise. A little bit of an increasing tone dude. And as you get more of these going, you get more points, more action. I've also managed to start the the uh, link multi-ball while putting that ball into play. So now two multi-balls are running and just all hell is kind of breaking loose. The super jackpot for lamp suit is lit and I've just collected it. And I think I've got a, another super jackpot there, the second one. And that thing that puts me back around in the regular scoring on the amp suit ground. Um, I don't completely know how the rules work on these games, but uh, the noise that you just heard is a replay at a high score, a decent score, so I must be doing something right. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but whatever it is, I'm just going to try to keep doing it. Looks like the link is lit for a super jackpot. I'm not sure. 12 million points for the double super there. That's a nice combination. And we got some big points rolling now, I think. So, as you can see, the, the, the object here was to try and get two multi-balls running at once, called a stack. And you get the opportunities that are present with both of those multi-balls. And some real big advantages happen when that starts to happen. You see my, my score went from a very small amount to a pretty huge score. I'm closing in on 50 million here, which is, you know, it's not the greatest score in the world in this game, but it's pretty decent. And we'll just continue to play this out. So reset everything here, get back under control and uh, begin to think about what else I could be playing for in this game. So there's the amp suit rounds and the link rounds. And there are these other objectives in the game too. Smaller objectives like the Banshee round, the Valkyrie round which corresponds to the spinners, the Seeds round which corresponds to these targets on the right side. Uh, another, a secondary goal in the game and worth a lot of points if you get there but it's very difficult is to complete all six of those lights on the same turn. Uh, so if I can play Banshee, or if I can play Navi out to completion, I can get another one of those lights. Banshee. You can see there I've got a 
few shots left to go for Navi. Only a few shots left to go for uh, the Banshee round. Actually, it looks like the Banshee round has begun. So I've got the light now for Banshee as well. As uh, the light for Link and the light for Amp. And if I can get all those, again, if I can get all those lights lit on the same turn. And now I've got the one for Valkyrie as well. Two more to go. The Seeds and the Navi. The um, Seeds and the Navi are pretty difficult to get at times because they shut off during the round, the other round. So I can't collect Navi and I can't collect Seeds right now. Some players just sit here and they wait because they're like, oh, my opportunity to score points will we'll wait until that round times out. And, you know, timing out is probably a very good strategy in a real tournament here, but nobody wants to see a timeout on the video, so I'm not going to do that here. But I am going to let it bounce over a couple times, play a little bit conservatively, to try and give myself another opportunity to get the ball back. Banshee's still ready. That's done, but now I'm back to regular play. I'm going to bleed Navi, complete seeds, and try to finish off these six tasks. But if I lose the ball, that's it. I don't get any of those. All those lights will shut off again. So I need to try and finish off all these rounds. And Navi scoring, it'll light up the two lights that are still at the uh, Etukan, whatever the hell that is. That's the amp shot. And the Grace, that's the left loop. If I can collect those, one more Navi will give me a multi ball round. So let's try to shoot for Grace. And uh, got the Etuan there. So I just need the Grace shot. And that'll let me complete the round here. So here the ball is on the left shot. I'm going to try to post transfer it over. And uh, there are a lot of different ways to get the ball from one side to the other if you're unhappy with what side your ball is on. Um, and uh, when that happens, you know, post transfer is a good choice. Another choice is that one right there, which is just a bounce over. And you can see I've completed now all these lights. The Etzikon light, I think, is uh, burnt out right now. Uh, completing the Navi one more time. We'll start the Navi around and give me the light there. Meanwhile, i got Seeds over there, which is also almost ready. And one more shot for Seeds. One of Seeds is... Oh! Oh, that's close. And unfortunately, I blew it. So all that stuff is going to wipe. The Link and the Amp will stay on because i got the Super Jackpots in both those rounds. Uh, so it is still possible for me to get all the lights. Navi and Seeds are almost ready again, so I'm going to keep going. Maybe I can actually pull this off on Ball 2 or Ball 3. It's unlikely, but it uh, would be nice to watch. And regardless, you saw a pretty good Ball 1 there. Solid Ball, 60 million scores, a good score on this game. And uh, then we'll talk through some of the other potential strategies on here, but you've basically seen just about all of the major objectives of the game. If I can... Get the Navi completed one more time here. I can actually start the Navi multi-ball. Unfortunately, again, this is the case where the Navi thing just shuts off whenever anything else is going on. It's kind of lame. Um, but on the plus side, I got Ampsuit multi-ball with Seeds. Seeds is uh, fast scoring. Sometimes it's called a, a frenzy, where every shot in the game is worth at least uh, 10,000. Every switch. Every time I hit a bumper, every time I hit a... A spinner spins around. Every one of those bumps up at the top there is worth at least 10,000 and maybe a little bit more. As you saw in ball one, I was able to pull this round off for quite a bit of points. The amp suit round and then the link round that followed it. So if I can pull that off again, I'll be pretty happy. And even if I can't pull off, I'm pretty happy anyways. I'm playing the game. One more jackpot to go. That jackpot's there on the left side. I'm going to try to just hold off, take control, try to wait until I can make the shot on the left. So in multi-ball here, if I have a one shot I'm targeting, which is that gray shot on the left. See, I have two balls now on the left flipper. It's nice and controlled, but I want to get one of those over to the right side. Bounce, and it'll hop over. Hops over just enough. Oh, that didn't give it to me? Oh, come on. All right, let's try that again. Hop it over. See if I can get off the flipper. A cradle separation. Bad news there. Yeah, that was pretty poor. But uh, I do now have three out of the six tasks finished. And who knows? Maybe I can get through the rest of them. 
Navi multi-ball is just about ready here if I can complete the blue lights again on the left side. And uh, that does put me as closing in on the uh, the final mode. So, again, this is probably about as good time as any for me to lose the ball, judging by how I've been playing. And there, I was able to stop it from going down. That was a nice little uh, push save, slap save, if you will. Slide save. And my goal right now is to shoot this Navi shot. That should start a multi-ball. I, I am fairly new to this game, so I don't quite know all the rules, but I think this will start a multi-ball. Multi and there we go. Navi multi-ball. Good time to read the lights on the screen. Navi multi-ball. Shoot flashing arrows. Yeah, thanks. Shoot flashing arrows. That, that really helps me a lot there. Okay. So, apparently I'm supposed to shoot flashing arrows. Good for you. All right. So, like most of pinball these days, it seems... The goal is to shoot all the flashing arrows. <laughs> and I've got uh, most of the flashing arrows taken care of. The uh, the left, the ramp on the left and the loop on the right are still in play. I'm trying now to get uh, the ball separated so I can make clean shots to those two. Missed the shot to the left loop, but you see I could have taken a shot with that flipper. So I'm just waiting, get under control, and try to get uh, clear separation of the balls. Last shot is this one on the right, Tsutse, whatever the hell these are. I don't know these names. And now the Navi shot is lit for uh, hopefully some kind of final bonus. Oh, I'm not sure what was what I was supposed to do there, but um, I've earned the blue light there. So the last ones that are lit are Banshee and... Uh, Valkyrie. Let's see if I can complete that and pull this off. There's Bomber Battle. That's the Valkyrie. I've just got Banshee to go and then I'll have all the lights on. And uh, as usual, this is probably about the time that the ball will go down. Banshee can be scored by shooting the left ramp. So at this point, I'm just playing left ramp all day, concentrating on that one shot and seeing if I can make it enough times to score the Banshee rounds. And like I said, once you got five out of six going here, that means you're gonna drain. So that mode is uh, like the unobtainium for me, I suppose. I've actually never achieved that mode yet, but it is a fairly new game. I'm sure I'll get there someday, but I haven't got there anytime yet. Um, I have heard from players who get there that's a fun round worth a lot of points, but uh, maybe uh, some other folks could tell me what exactly happens there, because I sure don't know. Um, we haven't yet, this game is so new that we haven't yet set it up for the way it usually appears in uh, Papa tournaments. Extra balls are off, tilts are tight. Tilt on this one is pretty tight, but it's set for extra balls, so I guess I'll play it out. In hopes of completing these tasks that are not likely to get finished at this point. Link multi-ball is almost ready? That might be worth playing out, but I'll try to start a round first. So I can start Banshee. The one round that harnessed me and kept me from going all the way through on ball two. There's Banshee rounds, and I'm gonna try to start Link at the same time. So here is Banshee and Link running together. And uh, Link multi-ball, that one went very badly. Uh, Banshee's still running. And it's down. So, not a really good ending to this game, but decent beginning, decent score. I hope you've seen a little bit about the strategy and elements of Avatar, Stern's newest game here at Papa. And uh, have a great day. Thank you for watching, and go play some pinball.